in a hurricane bug out situation, what am I going to do about this guy? What am I going to do about this little girl? And this guy, what am I going to do about him? And her, what am I going to do about her? And then what about these idiots? What do you do about them in a hurricane bug out situation? For the cats, we have carriers ready to go, obviously one for each cat. In addition, we have staged leashes, collars, and water containers, or food containers, for the carriers. And we even have a go bucket of um, cat litter. We don't store food for this because uh, our food containers are also in an easy to grab bucket. And the plan is just to grab that and go. I have a large carrier for the dog. Uh, it's currently uh, doing double duty of storage, but it's easy to get a hold of and put together. And we also have this uh, fold down cage. I don't know that I would take it with me, but you know, if, if we had room and time, it's something to have. That takes care of the pets, but what about the chickens? Well, I've thought a lot about that. And I really welcome your comments and, and, and uh, your ideas of how you've planned on bugging out when you have livestock or, or I don't know if you call this livestock, <laughs> if you have chickens specifically. And my plan is pretty much the same I would use if I was going away for a week. I have enough food and water containers that when I'm going away for a week, I can put up three water containers and two food containers and that will last them the week and my plan if we had to bug out for a hurricane is to leave them locked up give them food and water and wish them the best I feel that letting them loose would definitely be a death sentence because they would get lost and eaten around here because I live basically surrounded by swamp so that's how I plan on taking care of my pets in a hurricane bug out situation. I'm very, very interested to hear your ideas.